Hey, what's up? This is Chris from Extra Fame. So today's review is about the Pipo P4 because some people have asked for. So here we go. So this is a 8.9 inches tablet uh, running Android 4.4, so the latest version on it. Um, what else to say for a quick introduction? Uh, we have here actually a full HD screen. So this is a Samsung PLS with a frame of 16 tenths is pretty nice and so the resolution is actually very high with 1920 uh, by 1200 so it features like the rock chip uh, 3288 Cortex A17 clock at 1.8 gigahertz so this is a quad core processor uh, the graphic processor is only uh, a T764 and we have here actually 2 gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes uh, of RAM as you can see in here so this is a wide viewing angle uh, for the Samsung PS screen and basically that's it so we have um, however we have GPS on this tablet so which is very nice uh, the 3G will, is optional so uh, it's built-in but uh, will be available later uh, one extra feature of this tablet is actually it runs uh, 4k videos for, for the people who don't know this is like the H265 format so a new format of videos which is very nice to watch and uh, with a high, high, high resolution, basically. So let's open the box, see what's going on inside. So here, this is the tablet itself. So we'll get back to it very extremely soon. We have here the warranty card, as usual, by Pico. And otherwise, if we open the box, what else do we have inside? Uh, we have actually a USB, micro USB cable. All right. Otherwise, we have earphones, pretty nice earphones actually. We have been checking the quality and the sound was pretty cool. So, this is a 3.5 mm jack, and then we have an OTG cable inside if you want to transfer some data from a USB stick or whatsoever you have in hand. And we have also the um, USB charger here. A USB charger, not just the charger, sorry about that. And uh, this is a US plug, but uh, we can provide you with a UK or a EU plug when you check out on our website at electroframe.com, no problem at all. Uh, the last but not least, uh, when the 3G will be available for the building, so here this is a pin to actually take off the, the SIM card at any time. So that's it basically. Um, so this is the people P4 so 8.9 inches with a metal uh, and plastic back cover uh, what else do I want to say is actually uh, on our website is available a case here so you can just like <coughs> it's fitting perfectly the tablet basically so you can use it to, to watch some movies for example or whatsoever what is running in your mind and will protect your tablet, your tablet very well so the thickness is pretty good and you see that this is good leather and will protect very very well so this is available in option if you want to buy it or not it's up to you so otherwise uh, let's have a look at the tablets so let's go around the edges and see what's going on about the design and the buttons and whatsoever so we see that this is like round edges holds pretty well in hand it's not too bad uh, the buttons are actually pretty simple on this tablet so here we have the power button and here the volume button um, here we have actually the the microphone and otherwise here on the back we have actually an 8 megapixels camera and uh, the flash integrated inside on the front we have actually a 2 megapixels camera and a sensor Otherwise, uh, the particularity of this uh, tablet is here, you can see, so okay. Let's finish first, and then we have here actually the DC in, 5 volts, and the 3.5 mm jack, but here, if we take off this little thing, we can see that actually we have the TF card, or a micro SD card, up to 32 gigabytes, and here will be actually the, the 3G for the SIM card, uh, but this is optional at this moment. So basically, that's it for... Uh, for the tablet itself so as you see the the design is pretty nice and pretty interesting so now what I propose to you is to talk maybe first about the dimensions before I forget about it so here we have like actually uh, 23 centimeters by 14.6 centimeters 
and a thickness of 8.5 millimeters only so pretty thin actually to be honest uh, the weight is actually quite honest we have like 440 grams uh, so it's not that heavy but still 8.9 inches so up to the people to to decide if it's heavy for them or not the battery inside 6000 mAh so allowing allowing you like basically working time of seven to eight hours depending on what you you doing on your tablet of course uh, 50 hours standby three to four hours to charge it again so it's quite honest and uh, it will allow you like uh, a good time on it okay so last but not least here we have the speakers so we'll try it later to see what's going on basically so now what I propose to you is actually to get started and see what's going on so we can just start it So before, uh, I forgot to say, but actually here uh, on the side we have the HDMI and the micro USB. Uh, so basically, you know, like when you take off this little thing, okay? So just to, to, let, to let you know. So here we go. So this is it basically. So it's a nice version on it. So you have access to a lot of different things for quick access. So it's pretty cool and very interesting. So as you see you now the music, clock, emails, weather and you see here we have like the toggles and some power, photo, pictures whatsoever and the browser so for very quick access on the go so how about the toggles here so we have here actually the brightness uh, settings um, so we have actually the, the Wi-Fi so this is the mobile networks but the, uh, the 3G will be available and I repeat in the next versions um, However, Bluetooth, uh, airplane modes, and, um, and and location off or on. So this is for the GPS. So then uh, now what we can have a look quickly actually is uh, it's at the the settings. So how about the settings here? We see that we have actually the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, multi-window, data is edge more. We have actually airplane, VPN, internet, mobile networks. So I say for the sound. So you can set up the different uh, notifications and whatsoever, okay. So this is not that important. Display, so HDMI, as I said before, so you have a HDMI inside. So you can turn it on and off and you can just like project everything uh, somewhere. The storage, so as I said before, this is the 16 gigabytes and up to 32 gigabytes for uh, the SD card inside. Uh, the battery is 6000 mAh. Then um, for the languages, which is like one of the main main points. So here this is the list, so you can check it out. So you probably find your own language inside, no problem. So then we have the Google account, so you have the Play Store on it, so you can download all your favorite applications without any problem at all. Data accessibility, printing, developer options for the people who wants to have like uh, advanced settings for the tablet so here we see this is Android 4.4.4 so the latest version of KitKat uh, people P4 and that's it basically so now let's have a look actually at the Antutu benchmark so for the people who don't really know what is Antutu uh, or a benchmark so it allows you to test the performances of your device and get a score out of it so here we see that we have an impressive score of 36,625 sometimes you can get up to 37,000 depending on uh, actually if the memory is clean or not so usually it should be like around 37,000 so why do we have such a high score on it so here we can see what's going on so basically we have the Rockchip RK3288 as I said so a uh, quad core processor Architecture Cortex A17, track the 1.8 GHz. We have the Mali uh, T764 for the graphic processor, resolution FHD, so full HD, 1920 by 1200. Uh, we have here the say 8 megapixels, okay, so I said before, and you can see on the back, I showed you before. Um, so 2 GB uh, of RAM and um, 16 GB of RAM quad core, 1.8 GHz. 240 dpi for the density which is quite honest so we have here two megapixels uh, on the front okay so otherwise here the same not supported so basically the nfc there is no nfc on it and for the sensors we have quite a bunch 
and some are not supported, like the the proximity sensor, basically, and uh, ambient temperature, um, and some others, uh, like the relative humidity, and basically all of them, which are not usually um, on the tablet. So basically, anyway, let's go and let's check the multi-touch tester. So if we put our finger on it. Okay, this is a 10 touch uh, capacitive touch, I mean 10 points ca capacitive touch screen. Um, otherwise, if we go back, let's check the root access. So I agree. Okay, verify the roots. Here they say that, sorry, this device doesn't have proper root access. So basically, if you want to change the Android version on it, you will have first to root the tablets. And, um, and please bear that in mind, that's it. So uh, here in this tablet we won't show the, the GPS test because actually we are inside of the house and it was pretty weak. However, uh, we've been trying outside and uh, outside we were getting um, a pretty quick accuracy, um, I mean fixing accuracy on um, 105 uh, feet it was. And uh, basically, why it's not that accurate and why it's not that precise sometimes on the Pipo tablets is because mostly uh, of this uh, true metal back cover, which is like kind of uh, avoiding the reception from time to time, to be honest. But uh, it's still working quite well outside and it's no problem at all. And, um, and basically, that's it. So. What else can we try? So actually, we want to see what is going on with the sound and uh, and with the video. So for that, uh, we can just have a look. Okay, before that, we can first you know, see what kind of applications you have inside. We have the Play Store, as you see, uh, email, file manager, Google Maps, and basic basic applications. So here you see that we have video 4K. So you will be able actually to play uh, the 4K videos on this tablet, uh, no problem at all. You have documents to go if you want to work with Office documents. So now uh, let's keep going, as I said, and uh, actually we were going to check a video on it. So let's check it out. So let's turn the sound up and let's see what's going on. The sound so far is not too bad. The Pipo W2 has a better sound with more bass basically and a bit louder, but uh, still pretty cool. It won't stop you watching movies for sure. It's not too bad. For such a small tablet. Authorization working. And you see the Samsung PS does a good job. It's very really nice with a high high resolution on it, so will be quite cool to watch movies on it for sure. So basically, that's it. That was just like uh, to show you what is uh, what is going on. So we can just come back, and now let's have a look actually at the gaming performances. So for that we have uh, Asphalt 8, which is a free game available on the Play Store and uh, which usually requires uh, quite a lot of uh, graphics. So we can check it out, check the settings. Oh. So in the settings here in sound and display we can see that actually we have medium, high, low, very low. Actually, we have been trying uh, all of them, and in medium and high, you know, it basically doesn't really work out. So it's better to have actually in low settings. So please bear that in mind that you won't be able to play at the fully best, you know, basically the, the latest games available on the Play Store. So. have to reload the game. So 
So let's start. Sorry about that. So we still see that this is working very smooth and so no problem. Though we are in low resolution, the graphics are pretty amazing to be honest. And we feel that this is very very smooth, there's no problem. So we still be able to enjoy a lot of games on it. So that's it, so basically you see no problem at all. Alright. So we can just go back. So this is basically for uh, for the people P4, uh, for the people who wanted to know what's going on with this tablet. So just to make a quick quick summary, we have a great screen here with Samsung PLS frame of 16 stands, uh, 8.9 inches full HD resolution of 1920 by 1200 10 touch capacitive screen uh, we have the rock chip 3288 1.8 GHz quad core Mali T764 so you can see that the latest games some of them might lag on it but in low resolution no problem at all 2 GB of RAM, 16 GB of RAM up to 32 GB for the SD card 2 MP camera on the front 8 MP camera on the back with flash integrated Wi-Fi Bluetooth 4.0 GPS inside 3G building optional so in later version, versions we will have the 3G you can read the 4K uh, videos on it here you have like a quick access to a lot of different applications in Android 4.4.4. Um, it's almost half a kilo, but 440 grams, still less than that. Battery of 6,000 mAh, seven to eight hours uh, of use, no problem at all. So this is what you get basically for uh, for the people P4. I repeat, you have like a, a case which can be available uh, on the website. So if you want to try your tablet. And uh, so if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below this video and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you want to purchase or to get more specifications about it, just feel free to visit our website at www.electrofame.com. And uh, otherwise, until then, hope you enjoy it and see you later for the next one then. Bye-bye.